Welcome back to the RC Exploits Workbench. Yay! We're going to work on the whoop, Toyota, the Yoda back, saw back. So we're going to install some install some parts that you seen the other day. First things first, probably need to build these CVAs. Hopefully there's instructions or something in here, although it should be pretty straightforward. Yeah, it looks like instructions. Ooh, some joint grease. I wonder if it works for arthritis. All right. Can't see what this camera's doing, so hopefully you can get a good view. Looks like everything's here. One two, three, why is there an extra one of those? I do not know. They send me ex one extra part. Let's see what we got here. Oh, hands blocking it. This looks pretty straightforward. I think I can even follow this. Grease, grease. Yeah, they gave me an extra pin and an extra ring, which is nice. Let's hope I don't need it. So, outer cut. <laughs> Probably ought to slide this in here, this in here. Always like to dry fit stuff first to make sure everything goes together, make sure they didn't have any burrs out of everything. Let's see. And that's going to give us a pretty good angle, which is a lot more than the original. Look at that. There's oh, that show the angle. I, I can see it here, but. See the angle. That ought to work really good then. Let's just open a little grease. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Get it on the workbench. So put a little grease here. May fast forward this so grease rag. Spin that. There we go. Looks like it lines up. You can see that hole through there. Line that up. I hope this thing stays. Oh, put a little grease on the the ball socket here. Forgive me, I don't do this on camera very often, so. Oh yeah, there we go, spin it up. Get it to where she lines up. Looks like you just take the pin. Easier said than done. Let's pull a tool. Hey, there we go. Slid right in. Man, that thing is it's gonna be fun to keep it greased up. And take your little ring. That's easier said than done part there. Boy, oh, snap rings. Boy, I gotta love them. Love them or hate them. Part of the hobby. I think I, I think I do enjoy doing this stuff. It's like building on a smaller scale. Been in automotive my whole life. Most of my life. But, 
on a smaller scale. Wow. That thing has got some spring steel. That's some pretty good spring steel. That's all right. Find my trick. Hey, hey, there we go. Put that. Make sure it's pushed through all the way, and it should just pop on. I don't put a lot of strain on these things anyway, so they're probably going to last me a good long time. Some people have broke the factory stuff, and I don't know how they do that. I really don't. Using the factory grease from G-Made feels pretty smooth. One down. Woohoo! All right, let's do another one. Uh, but I don't put massive power. I'm not running 3S LiPo or anything like that. I just went to LiPo batteries not too long ago, so I've been running nickel metal hydride, and they've done me okay. I've not had any issues. Uh, they are heavier, uh, but the 5000 Ma that I was using, nickel metal hydride, lasted a good, oh my goodness, I could, guys were changing out their two cells quite often, and me, I was going hours. I did actually did a G6 and Texas on both uh, both runs on one battery. It was dead at the end. I mean I barely made it to the end but yeah one, one five thousand did it. I was really impressed. Line it up a little bit. There we go. pretty simple. That was really, I wasn't sweating it, but I didn't know what to expect. Never, never did a CVA. Pretty simple. I mean, basic, I mean, you don't even really need any tools to this, but the basic set of tools that you get with, you know, you can get a, I think my most used, I use this Duratrax. It's got the multiple I mean, quit holding it in. It, oh, it's holding it in there. That and this. Of course, small pliers and stuff like that. All right. Those two are done. I may switch this up a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing here. Don't mind the jiggly camera. Here we go. Need to put some new grease on this. Oh. I don't know why that wouldn't work. I know I got some more grease somewhere. Do do do. That shot grease. That shot grease. That's not. Nope. <clears throat> Some more G made grease left over for the. Probably do a little bit more on this this time. Doesn't have many hours on this truck. Oh. Let's... There we go. Don't have many hours on this uh, saw back. So it hasn't seen a whole lot of use. Check to see. Oh. All right. Pop that dude in there. Now, I'm not sure which is the long side. Let's see. That's probably the long side. I'll go ahead and put a little grease on the end of this. A shaft or they nice and lubed up. Put a little bit of grease on this inside right here. And it's just a matter of sliding through the bearing. Get it 
to line up with the maybe it's this one. That one fit pretty good. Take it out and grease it. There we go. in here a little bit for here a little bit for there there we go nope that thing doesn't go in that side that's gotta be If I were to look to see what what went where, mark it. Maybe that goes in all the way. Maybe that is it. We'll check when we get the stub axle. Now it's time for the zero axle. Trash, trash, everywhere there's trash. Just reusing those bearings, they still spun real well in and in. Easy, easy. And that looks like that side. And that looks like this side. So let's see if that, by chance, will go on there. Oh, as long as, as it, the steering goes to the front, to the front, to the front, to the front. Okay, and well, looks looks right to me. This one. I guess that's the right size. Right side. There you go see that yeah they don't give you any screws and of course everything G made is Phillips not too bad uh, it is a machine screw with a shank ooh, ooh, ooh. there it is uh, probably could take the body off but some of you hard body guys know this that once you get them on there it's probably best just to leave the body on there plus it's Almost like uh, uh, working on a real one. You know, you still got to work around the body. Just raise it up. Guess I can always. That's part of the hobby. You got to have an action figure. So give him a screwdriver and let him do the work. looks pretty straightforward though uh, so I'll probably just speed the video up here and I'll finish putting this other side together and then we'll build the rods Too tight.
doesn't want to quite go in, so let's push this in just to make sure. It looks like there may have been a burr on the end of that metal. So let's see if we can get that to... There it goes. There we go. Still kind of a tight fit, but it looks like it's going to go. There we go. Looks like it's a little bit bigger diameter. And you look at the way this was, this was even all the way around. This one has a lip. I mean, you can actually, there you go, you can see it's actually a little bit bigger around. turns. Still good over here? Yeah, we're still good over here. Uh, <clears throat> pin. This is the same way. This one side just doesn't go in smooth. So, let's turn that just a wee bit. Yes, I can always use a brass tipped hammer. Try something a little different, just because I don't want to... There it goes. Just tap it. Tappity tap tap tap. I like the brass hammer. You can tell I use that one quite often. It's so tight, but we'll see. There we go. It does. It looks like it keeps it just off of it. So that part's done. Oh, watch yourself there. That part's done. again. Flip this around. Guess I should go ahead and put the cover back on the front. Two, three, and four. 
might be able to hear my wife. She's in there getting ice, getting something to drink. It's kind of chilly here in Oklahoma. We're about about where we need to be for fall. Don't need that. Don't need that. I need a screwdriver and a cover. These things are pretty durable. I have to say, I do, you know, first one was an axial, but I like the G-Made. You know, I don't dig the Phillips screws. Get this a little bit closer and see what I'm doing here. Start them up, get them started. already looks like there's a lot more turn angle on that thing. So we'll see. I'm going to do this one, then we've got the Komodo, the wife's Komodo. It takes a little bit more to tear it down. Probably won't do it on camera. It should be the same thing. But I'll use it. I think they have the stock turning radius as the saw back. You know, so always put it tight but not too tight you are screwing into plastic I do appreciate all y'all watching these this one may be a little boring and mundane but it looks like it's you know it's a good upgrade and by looking at the, the C hubs uh, on the aluminums to these there's a little cutout in the middle of the C hub on the aluminum but the only point that it would actually touch would be up here at the top edge and there's no cutout on either one so I probably get full turning that I'm looking for without having to spend the extra 65 bucks I say 65 because I got two trucks if I do something to my truck I gotta make sure the wash truck is at least as capable although the Komodo outperforms both the SCX 10s that I've built and uh, and the sawback. It's just it's just an amazing little truck. Okay, so this is done. Now turn the camera. Let's do the bent zero Ackerman arms. We're almost done, folks. It's going to be time to check it here in a minute. Always be careful with sharp blades. You don't want to lose a finger. It looks pretty self-explanatory. Sounds. These are kind of heavy, so it looks like it's all metal hardware. And they upgraded us, did they? They did. Look at that. They upgraded. G made. Uh, oh. G-Made upgraded us to metal bearings, or metal, metal balls. That's, that's nice, I, I believe. Let's, easiest way to do it is grab a magnet and, oh yeah, all metal. That's nice. Very well constructed, it feels like. Should be fairly simple. Just screw them in and then tighten them up. Is there, it takes, it does. It takes... Uh, what is that a 1.5 yep and it bottoms out so that's good so it, yeah, that 1.5 is either wore out or you got to watch when you buy tools and sometimes that stuff is the cheap stuff is just that it's cheap yep here we go I don't think you have to put any Loctite on these, I wouldn't think, but you never know. And I screwed it in the wrong way. Do, 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 do. That one doesn't quite fit right, so let's grab the old stand up there. on my fingers now there we go and it is a 1.5 it is a good 1.5 looks like I need to get rid of those tools or 
I got that out. Put that there. Grab this. Looks like I got one more here. One more here. And I did convert mine to, I guess you could call it chassis mounted servo. It's actually mounted to the, the receiver box, but it does okay. So, there's that. There's several ways people can put these together. Uh, some people use pliers. You know, I, you could do several things. Uh, I have a socket that usually fits right over it, and I can pop it in there. It fits down in there, like so. And uh, it keeps you from hurting the fingers. I always put it ball down, and then just push over. I say that, and then this side don't. This one don't want to do it. That one got twisty. There we go. Just gotta get the right angle on the dangle. an extra I always like extra hardware because I tend to lose hardware sometimes so yeah. they didn't pre-thread them which is fine yes I, I guess these things do come in handy Just turned right. As here's the stock one. I'm going to put this other one on. The factory is aluminum, or the factory is steel. It is a smaller rod, but it is steel, so it's, it's probably a little bit more durable. Uh, but this one is angled for the Ciro Ackerman. And here's the factory one. Look at the difference. Gives off. I'll do this side too. But yeah, right there. And then we'll build this. Uh, all four of all four of these, they're not angled or anything. They're just straights, just straight. Mm -hmm. I said, I still got a little bit of grease on my fingers. Oh, that's not one. Turning. Well, it's time for a pair of pliers. I don't want to scuff it up though, so we'll use a rag to try to hold it. Yeah, it seems to be working. Oh, it still scuffed it. Dag gum it. Dag nab it, Batman. find faster ways to get this stuff done it seems like all right that'll go up in there like so where's my servo okay there it is now to install this let's see if this will 
get, get us where we need to be. Don't know where my screw went to my servo. That's not good. I thought I had everything right there. Oh, that must have been it. That was it. Okay, good. It has to go through on top. I'm using it in the very back hole on my servo. I think that'll probably stay going. Let's compare it to the first one. The original, it's actually a little bit longer. It's actually a little bit longer. And it's not bent. So hopefully this will do what I need it to do. But what I did as far as my steering servo, I just took the factory mount off the axle, the one that went here, the one that went there. I took the, the ax that off, and it was on here like this. I flipped it like this, moved my, my uh, box forward, mounted it to it, drilled holes from the inside so I could drill holes from the inside so I could drill the, screw the holes straight forward and then mounted the servo to it. All right, that part's done. Wow. I could probably center my... Wow, that's going to throw everything off with my servo being so long that does it need to go the other side maybe maybe I need to go the other side with it as it was connected over here but with this one maybe it'll have to go to the other side ah, I got a loose spring all hanging out over here Hope y'all can see that this is not easy. Just like most things when you work on something mechanical. It's not easy. Chester Cheetah. It's not easy being cheesy. That works better. Okay. And what I'm gonna try to do, where to go? I would like it to go on top and it looks like it's going to have to to clear because if I put it underneath well I could put it underneath but the thing I don't like about it being underneath the leaf spring is it's going to be too close to the ground it hinders when I come up to something it, it, I hate to hit my steering link I just I just really do I like the fact that the, these are threaded, but they give you nuts for backup. So when you're trying to that way, you don't lose it. There's nothing worse than losing <laughs> losing a nut or a screw on the trail. You know. I, I keep a lot of that stuff in my box, you know, just because well, that thing looks like it, it holds 
once I get it up there, it looks like it'll hold a little bit above half, which is not like it was on the Komodo. But the thing does look like she's got some serious turn angle now. Let's go ahead and pop a wheel on. Course, where's that? Right here in front. Of course, my my scale goodies. That's the part of this hobby that's so addictive. Is there are so many things by so many companies out there, you know, where, you know, yeah, they were fourteen dollars for a set of scale hubs from SSD. But if I were to go out and buy full size hubs, they would cost me 300 bucks. Looks pretty good. That thing looks like it's got some serious turn angle, a lot more than it did before. Hmm. You may have to get the, this other wheel on here and do a comparison with the Komodo. So we know where we're at. And I can still get to those, so that's good. Oh, don't knock it off its jack stands. Oh, by the way, anybody can make these. I'm sure somebody's got Legos around. Just a little a little bit of CA glue holds them together. Man, I tell you what, sure beats. You know, 3D printing looks, but when you're working, you just need something to hold it up. Um, I'll spend six dollars on a on a tool, but I won't spend fifteen dollars on a set of jack stands. <laughs> well, it sounds like. My wife's about ready for dinner, so I may have to do a stopping point here in just a minute. All right, well, those are done, so let's move some stuff around here and get the Komodo over here and see just how. Keep the... okay. Just how done this is. I'll be right back. Okay, there's your turn angle. That that definitely has a lot more angle. I mean, come right up here. I mean, it's good. that Komodo has good steering angle. I mean, most of your trucks do, but look at the out turn on this. Let me come up here. This is really going to show it. I mean, that tire there, and then you get this tire here. You know, that thing's got, that's it. That is as far as it turns. Look at that. So there you go. There you have it. Uh, <clears throat> next, we're going to do this one. Got all the parts right, right up here on the shelf. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, hope to see you out on the trails. Oh, please, don't forget, uh, smash that like button. Uh, subscriptions is free. There's not much free in this world. And take that. Uh, and then, so you don't miss any videos. And comment. And if you got something, uh, share it with me. Um, check us out on Google Plus, too. All right, have a great day. And